soon. Hey guys, what's going on? Now, today I kind of figured I'd do a video that needs to be done because there are so many questions circulating around my Patreon and people have kind of been falling into the same area of confusion. So I figured I'd go ahead and do a video to kind of clear up as much as possible. So first things first, you guys want to know how can you download the mods? How can you find all of the mods that I kind of made? And the, the first answer that I usually gave was just to kind of scroll down and it kind of gives you everything in a... Basically, in a, this is the timeline of all the mods that I put out, all the updates and all those sorts of things. So I created this right here to make everything a lot easier. For Dragon Ball Universe mods, you can find it here. And all of these mods, they're compatible with Ultimate Xenoverse. You know, back in Dragon Ball Xenoverse, I had to replace mods. Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, I don't, so it's mainly going to be one pack. And all the extra things will probably be like, you know, character creation. But we're probably going to be adding every single thing, so it's usually going to be just be one pack. But you can just click here if you're a new person, and you can easily find... Gods vs. Mortals installment to Ultimate Xenoverse because they're all in one. Okay, so you can find a little bit of information here which will tell you what the new content is. It's a pretty much the fastest way to do that and you can kind of save yourself the hassle of trying to figure things out because the timeline will get flooded and it won't exactly be up there so you'll be a little confused and I understand that. Um, as far as the tutorial, I have a tutorial section on my Dragon Ball Universe uh, YouTube channel or whatever. I don't even know why I just said that. It was so weird. But uh, basically, uh, you can find that tutorial down the timeline, and I'll I'll, I'll probably put a tutorial uh, featured tags here just in case you guys need it. I think I'll, yeah, I think I'll do that after this video, so you can look forward to it. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's basically how you get down. You gotta make sure you use my tutorial. Don't use anybody else, you use mine, because I'm responsible for the way my mods work. So, uh, things may be a little bit different, and if you do it that way, you'll 9 out of 10, no, I'm gonna say 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10 not have any issues if we're working with the same game. As long as you got the official game, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're not gonna have any issues, okay? So, another thing is the rewards, okay? As of saying, which is the $1 Patreon, you gain you gain access to the DLC. Uh, I don't know why, why I said it like that, but I didn't even put gain access to all DLC. But anyways, okay. Gain one mod, request raffle tickets. And what that pretty much is, I do once a month, I do like a, a mod request raffle on the Patreon. And basically, you have the opportunity to kind of win a mod request from me. Whatever character you want, within reason, I will create for you at the best of my uh, abilities. So that's one thing. You get one uh, chance right here, and it kind of goes down, uh, you know, as a as it goes on. You know, you get three with the Kaioken, and you get five with the Super Saiyan. It stops right there because I don't want people to basically just, um, you know, I don't want them to have like too many chances. I want it. To, I want to keep it fair. So five is where it's locked at. And uh, that this way, everybody else kind of has their chance as well. So the five, five uh, mod requests, uh, raffle tickets is the most you can get. Uh, going down, you gain uh, access to live support. And that live support can either be, you know, you just messaging me, or you can actually go to the Patreon-only Discord. This is where we all kind of get together, and you guys will basically be able to communicate with me, ask me things directly. Uh, it's not a tutorial thing, okay? I do not just teach tutorials, live support. I can help you with installing mods or an issue that you might be having with my mod or something like that. Can I help you with someone else? I cannot really teach you, but if you have like a small question about something that I can actually answer without having to try to troubleshoot, I'll gladly answer it, no problem. Uh, other than that, we'll like be doing like I don't know, I think I'll be doing a little series where it's like uh, Patreon battles or whatever, like kind of once a week, maybe. Uh, everything's still a uh, work in progress. But uh, yeah, I really like that I can actually directly communicate with my, uh, with the people that basically fund all of this stuff, because I wouldn't do all this if um, I didn't have the support. And I'll also be putting all of my work in progress projects onto the Discord so you can see all the pictures. I don't like putting those unprofessional pictures on my social media anymore, so you'll find it all there on Discord. I have uh, 
I basically kind of have like its own little section. All right. So uh, moving on, we have uh, gain access to progress reports. As you can see, uh, it's right here. This is your progress report right here, and it basically tells you like what's next, whatever. You guys are basically getting a little insight on what I'm possibly going to be doing, what characters are going to be added on this month for God vs. Mortals Part 2. Uh, and there's always something changed right here. I might add more. You never know. So I always have that there. Uh, I like to keep it a little professional for you guys to know because I know people like to know where is this channel going? Where is this, um, like, what am I getting this month? Am I going to get bullshit this month that, you know, I don't even like? You know, so I want to make sure you guys know what's really, uh, what's really going on. So, um, let's get back to it. It's a, it's a lot of things I put on. I put on a lot of them once for, um, for these, like, a while ago. I have to actually update something. And then, as you can see right here, it says gain access to Patreon only Discord channel, which we already covered. And then once you go down to Kaioken, gain all rewards underneath, which is pretty much common sense. And uh, gain priority in Q&A videos. I will be doing those sometime um, early next year, maybe January. So um, that's not really relevant right now. Um, other than that, like Kaioken is basically you get more of a chance to uh, win a model quest raffle. That's not a benefit. And once you go up here to Super Saiyan 5, which is, I mean, Super Saiyan, which is $5, uh, you gain five mod request raffle tickets. You gain access to live modding tutorials. This is the one where you get the live modding tutorials. Um, like, I'll kind of um, help you out on certain things. It's not every single thing. You can't just call me out on, like, whatever you feel like. Like, hey, man, I want to learn how to do this and this, you know, like... I can kind of give you like a tutorial like on um like when I have like a group it'll be like uh I guess you can say like a private live stream and then I'll be like teaching it as a class not per person but it'll be like a class a live tutorial um and I'll be setting dates for that from when I teach you guys certain things whatever where we kind of like I'll have it set about like what I'm teaching and it'll just be like a class, so I'm basically choosing like what I'm going to teach you guys on a specific day. And um, right here, this is uh, have your name in the Dragon Ball Z Universe introduction credits of each mod release. Now, there's something that I haven't done for Dragon Ball Z Universe 2, but it will be updated along with my uh, shout out video, which is going to be at the end of this one. So, um, look forward to that. I will be getting on that, trust me, okay? Um, Super Saiyan 2, we got about 15 patrons here, and uh, this is the uh, getting a shout out on all videos, which is the shout out that you're going to see at the end of this video, and gain alpha and beta access to select mods, gain exclusive art, I meant to put from big mod releases, but you know, things happen, okay, I will update it as I'm reading it, you know, I know it must look really ridiculous to you guys. Alright, so uh, Super Saiyan 3, we actually just got two Super Saiyan 3s, shout out to you guys, uh, new, um, but it's really awesome, I really, uh, I really appreciate the support, the support is freaking crazy off right now, and I'm really seeing um, all my hard work kind of come back to me, this is really amazing guys. Um, this one I have a uh, gain an exclusive character created costume once a month. Now this will be a costume that I feel uh, will be kind of unique or it might be an iconic costume. You never know what I'll throw at you, but when I give it to you, it will be released only for that month and it will not come back. So only those people will have it. And um, that's the exclusivity that they're going to have for it. You know, it's kind of going to be like that once a month little uh, secret costume thing. I think that was a pretty cool thing to do for Super Saiyan 3 since I couldn't really figure out what I wanted to really put there. Along with Super Saiyan God or Super Saiyan Blue. But we have things for them now. Um, Super Saiyan God, we got one guy who um, actually uh, went there. He, he became a freaking Super Saiyan God. I, like that's that's freaking unbelievable when I saw that in my email. I was like what? <laughs> so I really appreciate that support man. It's because these people like it, it didn't have any rewards when he actually went on there So I was really surprised you know people actually just believe in my uh, my work that much that they're willing to go that far So I'm really humbled and flattered by this you know It just really makes me want to go even further and just give it my all you know, I, I really appreciate all the support that I'm getting from you guys. It's just really unbelievable. Uh, so what you get here, as you already read, 
Uh, gain one character creation and costume request within reason of production time. What that is, you know, you can basically request any costume for your character created costume. Your, your character creation or whatever your creative character so any race i'll make a costume that suits them for whatever design you have as long as it's within reason of time because these things take a lot of time they can take days depending on what you send me on so it just has to be reasonable you know because you know i'm also doing other things so just don't don't try to kill me and it goes the same thing with the character creator you can request any character that's within reason of my skills and time, basically. And it's, just, it's basically the same logic. Um, so, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the rewards. Other than that, I'll be, um, I don't know, I think I pretty much covered everything. But I'll be keeping you guys in the know. So you'll pretty much be knowing what's going on with the Patreon and... You know, what do you have to look forward to? Because I feel like people love it a lot more when they know what's going on opposed to a bunch of surprises and then everything's just like kind of like a gamble. I don't want you guys to feel like that. I want you guys to kind of be confident in what I'm doing. So, um, put any questions below, like if you um, have them, um, and I'll try to, I try my best to answer them. Um, other than that, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Welcome to the end of your life, and I promise it's going to hurt.